Hi guys, I'm Nathan here from Crazy Amazing Designs. And in this video, I wanna share with you about ProPresenter 7's screen configuration settings. So to get to there, the first thing we need to do is go to ProPresenter Preferences Screens. Now, your first question might honestly be, but I don't see it. Like that's not what it used to look like in older versions. Relax, all you gotta do is click on Open Screen Configurations. I realize it is one extra step, which is kind of annoying, but the good news is there is actually a shortcut. If we go close out of that, in the main user interface, if we click on screens, we can go to screen, configure screens. And that's an option right there, two clicks. So that's pretty cool. The first thing I wanna talk about is our physical output. So we've got HDMI, we've got DVI, we've got SDI. Those are gonna be the three things. If you've got like VGA, then you need to maybe look and see if you can get an HDMI output source from your computer to work best with ProPresenter. So those three outputs are physical outputs. We've also got software outputs like NDI. NDI is a uh, graphic or a video over network solution. We can output NDI to things like OBS. So those are our physical kind of outputs. There's also this thing called Siphon. So if we go here and we hit audience plus, now ProPresenter 7 is really cool because it identifies what computer screens are plugged into our computer. So what projectors and what TVs are plugged into our computer. And we can just go ahead and quickly click on that and it'll create the new screen. So also in this list, there are options to create new NDI sources so we or feeds so we can uh, click one of these settings and then output NDI. Now, you're probably wondering, which one do I pick? So there's really three options. There is standard HD, there's full HD, and there's 4K. So 720p, that's gonna be your standard uh, HD, and then 1080p is going to be your full HD, and then your uh, higher than that is gonna be like 2K, I think actually the, 2160 would be. And then you've got your frame rates on each one. So usually you're gonna use 2997 or 5994 for your frame rates for a source. So we can, uh, but you can select any of these that works best for your setup. And also the Siphon thing, that's for Mac. So you can output a that source to go to a different program or different things like that. Uh, NDI is a lot more popular. And then also you can add a placeholder. So if you're like me and you don't have any screens plugged into your computer, but you wanna practice and play around with ProPresenter, you can go ahead and add placeholders, which will take the place of things. And then you can click on the on that and you can go ahead and go back in and change it once you do have your screens plugged in. So that's kind of cool. So I wanted to talk about that for just a minute, but uh, up here we can change the name of our screen. We can see the resolution for our screen. And underneath of that, there's these four options. There's single, mirrored, grouped, and edge blended. So single is gonna be what you're usually gonna use, and that's gonna let you output your output to the one screen. A mirror is going to be, it'll give you two options, so you can select your main screen, and then if you have a second screen that's the same content's going to, you can configure that here. Uh, you can group stuff, so this is gonna be like, if you're at an airport or arena or something like that, you might see like a TV wall with like th three by three of TVs. Now you could do that right here. You could select three by three and then you could go through and configure all of these TVs with their specific output from your computer. And you can use any of the NDI, Siphon, or uh, physical outputs to do that with. And as you can see in my top right here, as I added more screens, it filled my content on those screens. Now you're gonna have to have much higher resolution content to get like a four by four, which it looks like is the max you can do. That's gonna be a massive wall. And then the last one is edge blended. And edge blended is really cool because if you've got two projectors, two projectors that are right beside each other and you want to share content across both, you don't wanna just have them both mirrored, you can edge blend the content. And then there's this little thing in the middle that it blends it together so that you can put content across both, as you can see on the top right. You're gonna need double wide or triple wide content, depending on how many screens you have. And you can get that on online from places like uh, churchmotiongraphics.com. So that's that. Stage displays are the exact same thing in terms of the configuration. You might notice that when you plug in certain outputs and stuff, you get like this alpha key. Now, NDI, you can output an alpha key, but if you don't have, an, an it, with a physical like HDMI output from your computer, you cannot output alpha key. You're gonna have to use a device like Blackmagic's Decklink Duo, which gives you four SDI outputs. There's also one that gives you HDMI outputs from your computer, and that supports alpha key. But if you're gonna go to a video switcher, you might wanna have lower thirds, and you don't have to mess around with keying stuff. The other solution is to use 
a green background. So for example, I've got this uh, communion one here and this is being sent to the switcher and then the switcher is taking the green out of it and just leaving that graphic. So that is the screen configurations in ProPresenter 7. One last thing, the screen color. Now, if we go up here and I'm just gonna change the color of this. If I, I, I always wanna keep this black in most situations because if there's no graphics on the screen, I want them seeing a dark color. I don't want them seeing, or a solid color. I don't want them seeing a distracting, you know, hot pink or red or something crazy like that. So I just keep it dark. It kind of goes along with uh, what system settings do you have set up on your ProPresenter computer? Because it's really important to have your battery settings, your brightness settings, you know, all that kind of stuff correct. Your uh, screensaver settings. Hey, so thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about ProPresenter or anything surrounding church tech or live production stuff, leave a comment in the video and I will do my best to get back to you. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.